Good afternoon to all. So in the last class, we started with the work, energy, and power. Okay, you have written the statement for all the problem, uh, all the uh, terms, definition, and it's the unit also. Okay, and we have taken one problem. So let's continue with the problem. Question number two. Find the power of a locomotive. Find the power of locomotive. Is it visible, everyone? Locomotive. Yes, yes. sir. Ah, okay. Power of locomotive. Locomotive means it is a vehicle, like a train. Okay. Locomotive. Drawing a train. Drawing a train. Drawing a train. Whose weight including whose weight weight including including that of engine that of engine engine is four twenty kilo newton okay four twenty kilo newton newton up and incline up and incline an incline one in one twenty one in one twenty at a steady speed at a steady speed steady speed of fifty six kmph fifty six kmph the frictional resistance being the frictional resistance resistance being being 5 newton per kilo newton 5 newton per kilo newton when the train is ascending when the train is ascending ascending the incline the incline the steam is shut off the steam is shut off shut off s h u t t Shut off. Find how far. Find how far. How far it will move. It will move before coming to rest. Before coming to coming to rest. Come on. Assuming that, assuming that the resistance, the resistance, the resistance to motion, to motion remains same. Remains same. The railway is moving. Okay, 
so there is a small inclination okay so in this one how much is the power required required for uh, moving upward direction and also for uh, coming downward direction also so in the first case weight is acting downward direction okay the vehicle is uh, locomotive is moving in this direction so read the uh, question find the power required uh, power of the locomotive drawing a train whose weight including that of the engine is how much it is 420 is given means total weight of the locomotive is 420 kilo newton correct then up in an inclined 1 by 120 this inclination is there this is theta correct huh? this theta value he has given that is 1 in 120 what does it mean 1 in 120 means what it means for 120 meter horizontal the rise is 1 meter for 120 meter horizontal the rise is 1 meter means the road is like this the road is like this okay for 120 meter horizontal the vertical height is 1 meter for a 240 meter 240 the 2 meter like this okay this angle he has given in terms of ratio okay so this is so how much is the power required to move the in the upward journey okay 120 at a steady speed of 56 kmph velocity is given okay 56 kmph frictional resistance being 5 newton per kilo newton it means when the vehicle is moving upward direction there is a frictional resistance also so how will be the frictional resistance downward direction okay so he has given this frictional resistance in terms of 5 newton per kilo newton means for 1 kilo newton there is a 5 newton friction for how much is the total weight 420 kilo newton ko kitna hota 5 into 420 kilo okay so you will get the value of friction then you have to find out the p value so why when the train is ascending the engine in an incline the steam is shut off so when the vehicle train is moving in the upward direction the engine is shut off okay shut off hone ke baad kya hota find how far it will move move before coming to the rest so ek bar p is zero hone ke baad i say move hote 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 then there is one point at which velocity is equal to zero okay you have to determine that how far it will move means distance is how much from the shut off condition is asked okay so this is a diagram okay initially the body is moving upward direction when the power is shut off power is shut off so body is moving in the same direction only okay how will be the friction that is also in the downward direction okay in the second direction weight is acting in the downward direction okay is there any power now there is no power okay then again there is a normal reaction okay that is the vertical direction and this is the normal reaction here also there is a normal reaction okay just if you understand these two diagrams then rest is e easy okay so what is a given thing and what is you have to find out so first figure one this is figure a and this is figure b so this is 420 kilo okay figure a shows figure a shows system of forces acting system of forces acting on the locomotive on the locomotive while moving while moving is yes, upward or downward while moving while moving moving upward while moving upward with a steady speed with steady speed how much is the speed steady speed okay what is the steady steady speed v is equal to how much he has given 56 kmph yes is it audible is it visible everyone yes sir so how to convert this into kmph to meter per second 5 by 18 into 5 by 18 so how much are you are getting 15.55 
yes 15.56 meter per second okay. so this is the initial uh, velocity it is initial velocity then frictional resistance frictional force ha huh. okay here is steady speed okay it is moving with this speed you can take u or v okay. okay frictional resistance frictional resistance resistance yes how much is given frictional resistance 5 newton per kilonewton 5 newton per kilonewton he has given between it means for 1 kilonewton there is a 5 newton frictional so total weight is how much total weight is 420 kilonewton so this is kilonewton so this kilonewton kilonewton get cancel so 5 into 420 how much it is 2 no no just just a bit just a bit so first find out हाँ हाँ है और मुझे और मुझे चीज़ टू वन न्यूटन ओके टू वन जीरो जीरो न्यूटन तो व्हेन यू कन्वर्ट दैट इनटू केलो न्यूटन तो फ्रिक्शनल फोर्स इसको तो टू पॉइंट वन केलो न्यूटन ओके दिस इज़ द फ्रिक्शनल फोर्स सो दिस इज़ वन ऑफ़ द मेथड टू कन्वर्ट द फ्रिक्शनल फोर्स न्यूटन पर केलो न्� Yes, four to hundred. Summation of, ah, huh, tell me, forces parallel, parallel to, ah, huh. yes, minus CF. Minus CF. You see, I am not considering whether it is a horizontal or vertical. Why it is minus? Just I am considering frictional force. Kitna hai? I want magnitude. In which direction I am not taking? In the next one, forces parallel to the. To the plane, plane is equal to zero. Okay, now you can consider this one. So, how much is the forces parallel to the force? What are these one? P is moving in the upward direction plus P. Then F. Now you can take F. F is moving how? It is in the upward downward direction. So minus minus F. Then is there any other forces? Yes. Yes. Weight weight is acting downward. So when you consider this one. With respect to normal direction, with respect to normal, how much is the angle this one? This is also theta. Okay. So if you take W, weight is W. W sine theta or cos theta? W sine theta. Okay. So it is W cos sine theta plus W sine theta. It is equal to zero. So what is the value of P? P is equal to F minus W sine theta. Yes. Next, F is known. That is two point one plus plus or minus it is. F plus. Ah, F four is transferred. Okay, one minute. Weight is acting downward direction, no? So it is minus okay. Weight is acting down up downward direction. This is minus. This is minus. Are you getting all of them? Why I have to take a minus? Yes, minus. sir. Ah, uh, this is plus. Ah, uh, plus. W is how much? It is four twenty into ah uh, sine theta. See, I'm trying this one. For one twenty meter, this is one meter rise. Okay, so sine theta is very as the theta is small. Sine theta is equal to tan theta. Okay, it is one in one twenty. One in one twenty. Because horizontally is one twenty meter, vertically is only one meter. Okay, only theta is only small. It is very small. If the theta is small, if theta is small, small, then you can write sine theta is equal to tan theta. Tan theta that is equal to one by one twenty directly. You can write. Okay, so this is W into one by one twenty. So calculate the value of P. Five point six. Five point six kilo newton. Okay, five point six kilonewton. It is P. Okay, it is a P. Then power of locomotive. So how to calculate the power of locomotive? So power of locomotive. Power of locomotive. What is uh, power? Yes. What is w power? Tell me. W upon T. Yes. Power is equal to uh, work work into Rate of change of work, work done. Okay, so here work done by P per second. Is it correct? Work done by P 
work done by p per second per second okay so how much is the work done that is force is p okay distance by time is velocity distance by time is velocity so can i yes. take it yes sir so p is how much 5.6 into what is the velocity 15.556 meter per second so total calculate 87.11 kilo watt see all of you power is equal to what is the formula force into distance divided by time correct so force is newton meter per second is equal to watt correct so if it is 1 newton meter per second then it is watt now it is in kilo newton 5.6 is in kilo newton this meter per second so it is kilo watt okay so this is the total power of the locomotive total power is it understood everyone yes right on yes right on so just we have now we have solved for the case one figure a only we have considered by taking the figure a we have calculated the power required to move upward direction okay this much power is required for the locomotive to move up the plane now while moving upward direction this power has shut off engine should stop okay okay stop hone ke baad how much distance it will cover okay that we have to calculate complete this first कंप्लीट हो गए नो सर ओके कंप्लीट कंप्लीट Okay. So power you have calculated. Next is what? When steam is put off. When steam is put off or shut off. Off. Let it move a distance. Let it move a distance. A distance. Yes. Yes. Before coming to the rest. Before coming to the rest. To the rest. Okay. so now when the train was uh, locomotive was moving upward direction the p was shut off okay p tends to zero okay when p tends to zero then the body is moving the same direction only now what is the initial velocity now 
No, initial velocity. It is that of your 50 km page, 56 km page. Okay, initial velocity is equal to initial initial velocity velocity. So now I will take it is u is equal to 15.56 meter per second. Then final velocity is equal to final velocity. How much it is? Yes, when the power is shut off, now the body is moving. So finally it will come to how much is the velocity, final velocity? Zero. It is zero. Okay, then now we can write resultant forces parallel to the plane. Summation of resultant resultant forces forces parallel to the plane. Parallel to plane. What are the forces parallel to the plane? Okay, in this diagram, what are the forces parallel to the plane? Yeah. F. F is hmm. minus F. Minus F. Okay, minus F. Uh, next, weight is also minus. So minus W and theta. Okay, so how much it is? Minus F in minus. Uh, minus F is how much? 2.1? 2.1. Minus weight is 420 into 1 by 120. So how much it is? Total? Calculate. Minus 5.85. Minus 5.85. Minus 5.6. Yes, minus 5.6. Minus 5.6 kilometer. So here, resultant of forces parallel to plane is equal to minus 5.6. What does this 5 minus means? This minus means what? It is downward. Okay, it is downward. My, means the uh, locomotive is moving in the upward direction. But the every per second per unit time the forces on the uh, body is reducing reducing okay so distance is moving in this direction but forces is reducing okay next next what uh, you have to write you have to take the Okay, writing the work energy equation. This is nothing but 5.6. Uh, 5.6, it is downward. 5.6 kilo newton downward. Downward. Okay, next, writing the work energy equation. Writing work energy, energy equation. Or can the equation? Okay, that is force and displacement. Now, force and displacement are in the same direction, opposite to each other. Uh, opposite to each other. So, body is moving in the upward, upward direction, but the net effect on this one, downward direction. Correct? Na? So, can I write it is minus 5.6 into s? Yes. Is it correct? All of you? This 5.6 is a downward acting, but s is moving in the forward direction. Okay. This is equal to, uh, what is the work energy equation? Resultant work is equal to change in kinetic energy. Change in kinetic energy. Oh, M, M, M into M final velocity is how much? Uh, final minus, minus, initial. minus initial velocity. Minus. Okay, of M, what is the weight? So mass, mass is not known. So what do you know? You know weight. Weight by G, weight by G, W by G, can you return? So this is equal to 420 divided by 9.1 into final velocity, zero. Minus what is the initial velocity? 15.56, 15.56 square. So this is equal to minus 5.6 into S. Here is also kilonewton, here is also kilonewton, it cancel. Okay, calculate the value of S. What is the value of S? Nine hundred. Yes, correct. Nine twenty four point nine eight meter. Okay, so this is the answer required. Yes, right on.
Completed. No, sir. Okay. So you you have come to know that how to calculate the work done, okay, and how to calculate the power. Here in this kind of problems, mostly he is going to ask velocity, initial velocity, how much final velocity, and the distance, how much the body has traveled. That is going to ask. Then power. Power is known. Work into velocity. Force into velocity. Force into velocity. Yes, completed. Can I go for next slide? Yes, sir. Yes, sir. No. Yes, sir. Complete. All of you. See, yes, you yes, have to write all the things. Okay, I will check your notebooks. In that time, sir, it is not uh, completed. It is incomplete. Means I won't agree. I will not accept your any reasons. With respect to all the points, it has to be completed 100%. Okay. Still, two three lectures may ek chapter katham ho jayega. Afterwards, one or two lectures may next chapter katham ho jayega. Okay. Yes. I will check from starting to end. Okay. Right on next point problem. A tram car, a tram car weighs weighs one twenty kilo newton. One twenty kilo newton. The tractive resistance. The tractive resistance. Active resistance being being five newton per kilo newton five newton per kilo newton. So, what power will be required? What power will be required required to propel? To propel the car, to propel the car, to propel the car at a uniform speed, at a uniform speed of twenty kmph, twenty kmph. So first one on the level surface. On the level, level surface, surface. On the level surface, on the level surface. Second one. Up the incline. Up the incline. Incline of of. One in three hundred. One in three hundred. 
then third one down and inclination down and inclination of 1 in 300 take efficiency take efficiency of motor of motor as 80% as 80% okay so first the body is on the plane ground on the plane ground next the body is moving on the inclined ground next the body is moving on the same inclined ground but it is downward direction so here the body is in this condition in the second case this is the body but it is moving in this direction next in the third case the same body but it is under same inclination but moving in downward direction so here is the p next the same p is here for direction now the p is in this direction and weight is acting downward direction weight is acting downward direction and weight is acting downward direction so this is the normal reaction here draw the diagram solve of it so frictional force is it is opposite direction here is also body is moving upward direction frictional force is acting downward direction and normal reaction is this direction and body is moving downward in the third case body is moving in the downward direction how will be the frictional force upward direction it is in upward direction and it is normal reaction okay right on this all the weights it is just in Ah, okay so what are the given values you have right so weight is acting down order weight then this is normal reaction this is frictional force this is p so same weight is acting here but the it is in the uh, inclined plane so inclination is given 1 in 300 okay this is normal reaction frictional force here same frictional force is in opposite direction t is downward condition weight is here then this is l okay so what he is asking you have to determine the power of the locomotive or power of the tram car okay so car weighs 120 kN so weight is 120 kN then tractive resistance being 5 N per kN what does this tractive resistance mean that is frictional force okay tractive resistance okay the body is moving the resistive force is there that is the frictional force okay so figure figure shows shows fbd of fbd of locomotive or you can take tram car tram car in three cases in three cases three cases given in figure given okay so in all the cases in 
all the all the cases cases frictional resistance frictional resistance resistance f f is equal to so how to calculate the f how much is given how much is given frictional resistance is 5 newton 5 newton per kilo newton so how to convert that in 5 newton per kilo newton into into how much is the weight total 120 kilo newton so kilo newton getting get cancel uh, how much it is 600 newton so can you convert this to 0.6 kilo newton okay yes next again one more statement is given that is that statement velocity is given correct so how to convert that in now the car moving with the uniform velocity car is moving moving with uniform velocity velocity uh, how much it is being p is how much 20 kmph 20 kmph yes convert that into meter per second 20 into 5 by 8 how much it is 5.55 meter per second so this is v over then now coming to the case one what is case one on label track on label track label track okay what is the value of p yes what is the value of p t summation of f is equal to 0 summation of forces is equal to 0 on level track summation of forces parallel parallel is equal to zero parallel force what are the parallel forces by looking at the figure minus that is minus yes plus, plus p is equal to p. zero yes, okay sir. then this p is equal to ah huh, f plus f what is f 5 uh, 0.6 correct 0.6 so 0.6 kilo newton okay next so he has given take the efficiency of the uh, motor is uh, motor is 80% what is the efficiency output upon the input correct output upon input so whenever he has given the efficiency you should find out the first output but afterwards you have to calculate the input so output power is equal to output output power is equal to p into v first of all you should find out power p into v p into v what is p whatever you have calculated that is the p what is the v 0.5 into velocity is equal to 5.55 so how much you are getting so output power output power is equal to how much you are getting 3.33 3.33 this is kilo no uh, ah this is what this is in kilo newton this is in meter per second so it is kilo watt kilo watt correct so this is kilo watt kilo watt Okay. Next, once you know the output power, how to find out the input power? Input, input power is equal to. Ah, huh, efficiency is equal to what? Efficiency is equal to what? Output power. Output by input. So I want to calculate the input. Input is equal to how much? Output power. See, efficiency is equal to. Yes, yes. Oh, efficiency is equal to. output power upon input power input power so i want to calculate input power so input power is equal to output power divided by efficiency output power you have calculated that is 3.33 3.33 kilo newton kilo watt divided by efficiency 0.8 so calculate 4.16 yes you are getting 4.167 Kilo watt. So this is the power required on the level surface. On the level surface. Okay. So if you want to move the same car in an upward direction, which the rising is how much it is? One in three hundred. Then is it same power required? So just, just a little bit or come away? Just a little bit. So either you will get the answer more than this one. I will check it. Okay, first complete this one. Yes, all of you completed up to this much. So afterwards, we will continue. Uh, that is second case and third case.
रोल नंबर वन प्रेजेंट सर सेवन प्रेजेंट है नाइन प्रेजेंट टेन हुई टेन इलेवन फिफ्टीन सिक्सटीन सिक्सटीन सेवेंटीन एटीन नाइनटीन प्रेजेंट सर ट्वेंटी ट्वेंटी नाइन थर्टी वन फिफ्टी टू फिफ्टी थ्री फिफ्टी फोर फिफ्टी सेवन सिक्सटी वन फोर सिक्सटी फोर यू आर प्रेजेंट सिक्सटी फोर आर यू प्रेजेंट Yes, sir. Where are you? Room. At room. Hmm. Why? Why you are not attending offline? Hmm. Sir, uh, you were here, thoda. Ah ha ha ha. That is a common reason. Huh? You were cold. Have you completed? No, sir. Okay, those who have completed, try for up up the plane, incline it, up the plane. What will come into picture? No, up the plane. करना है तो समेत ना forces parallel to the forces ए करने का. So now P is there, F is there. Then there is a weight of the body that is in downward direction. So calculate now. Hint diya. Samesh na forces parallel to the forces ऐसे करने का. Okay, P same. P is there. Yes, is there? Wait, you have to consider now. Complete, sir. Same. We are doing what? Here, sir. Submission or download? Only up the plane. Up the plane. Okay. So second case, I will take. Okay. Okay. Second case, I will take. in case up the plane up the plane the component of weight ha ah, okay so you can write the component of weight weight w sin theta w sin theta x downward x down the plane x down the down the plane and and sin theta is equal to sin theta is equal to tan theta is equal to approximately is equal to 1 in 300 1 in 300 now forces forces parallel to parallel to plane okay looking at the figure b Okay, tell me what are the forces parallel to the B plane plus P, P. Yes, minus sir. F yes, minus sir. weight weight is acting downward. W sine theta is equal to zero. P का yes no 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 power six point nine correct yes हाँ इधर कितना है तो power four point one so अभी इसको six point ज़्यादा है ना yes so P is equal to हाँ P is equal to F plus W sine theta. Now are you getting understanding over here? Yes. Okay. F. What is the value of F? See, all the cases F is frictional resistance. How much is the frictional resistance? 
Output power is equal to what is the formula? Output power P into V. Okay. P into V. P is equal to 1 kilonewton. Okay. 1 into what is the velocity? Yes. 5.55. 5.55. So you are getting 5.55 huh? kilo watt. Correct? Huh? Then input power. Input power is equal to output power upon efficiency. Output power is 5.55 divided by. Point eight, so you are getting six point nine four kilo watt. Kilo watt. Okay, this is the answer. Okay, those who have completed, try for third case. सर आपने वो नोटेशन कैसा दिया है क्या ओपी आउटपुट पावर अपॉन ये एफिशिएंसी एफिशिएंसी नोटेशन आउटपुट पावर अपॉन एफिशिएंसी दैट इज एफिशिएंट थीटा थीटा इज थीटा ओके दिस इज थीटा तो केस थ्री सर इक्वल साइन नहीं है क्या कौन सा टेन थीटा के बाद हाँ है ना टेन थीटा इक्वल अप्रोक्सिमेटली इक्वल क्या इक्वल 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 कर दो अप्रोक्सिमेटली इट इज इक्वल नियरली इक्वल टू ऑन थ्री हंड्रेड ओके थर्ड केस डाउन द प्लेन डाउन द इनक्लाइन प्लेन down the inclined plane okay now for summation of forces parallel to the plane okay looking at the figure 3 can you tell me what are the forces p is down, moving downward p is moving downward w f is moving upward f is moving upward then weight weight is acting downward w. minus w sin theta sin equal to zero So next, I want the value of p. P is equal to f minus w sin theta. Correct? Yes. Yeah. F is equal to how much? It is zero point six. Zero point six plus. Sorry, sorry. Minus. Minus. W is equal to how much? One twenty. One twenty into one nil three hundred. So how much you are getting? Point two kilo newton. Point two kilo newton. Yes, correct. Then output power. Output power is equal to output power is equal to p into v p into v. So p is equal to much zero point two into v is equal to much velocity five point five five. So one point one one kilo watt you are getting. Sir minus आ रहा है minus one point five minus five you are getting minus. हाँ five you are getting minus. Output power, output of power is equal to that is input power is equal to output divided by efficiency. Okay, so output is about one point one 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 divided by point eight. So you are getting one point three eight nine or seven. Okay, kilo van. See, when the body is in the horizontal, how much it was required? Four point one six seven kilo van. 
when we, it is in the inclined plane upward direction it is required 6.9 four coulomb in the downward direction how much is the input power required okay yes 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 right on see actually this is a combination of three different cases in the exam he may ask anyone we saw one more problem ha this problem is completed one more problem is four selection kab kitne mein check hai aise kya theek main aise socha tha lecture khatam ho gaye aaj ओके आराम से जाएंगे अभी दो तीन लेक्चर में खत्म करेंगे बाद में दो लेक्चर आई थिंक मिनिमम फाइव टू सिक्स लेक्चर्स नो डेफिनेटली पक्का अभी फिजिक्स भी खत्म हुआ ना उनका भी लेक्चर है यूएच भी है यूएच भी है मिलेगा आराम से आराम से करें किस इज कंप्लीटेड यस वी हैव द लेक्चर लेक्चर है क्या अभी 420 को यस सर नो सर ओके फाइन देन वी विल स्टॉप नाउ वी विल स्टॉप नाउ वी विल कंटिन्यू इन द नेक्स्ट लेक्चर ओके यस कैन आई स्टॉप शेयरिंग Yes, sir. Okay. Fine.